Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Christian Wagner, and I'm the Militant Thomist. And I'm coming at you with another installment of our Passion Tide series. And this one's going to be on the commentaries on Aristotle. This actually, at least for me, personally speaking, revealing a little bit of my my weakness when it comes to uh, St. Thomas. This actually should be not necessarily just commentaries on Aristotle, but I, say, I guess I could cover all of the commentaries, the other commentaries of St. Thomas that aren't on Scripture. So before we get into that, remember, uh, Greek isn't as important here, but still, if you get the Corpus Thomisticum by, uh, by the Thomistic, I mean the Aquinas Institute, always mix up the Thomistic and Aquinas Institute, but it is by the Aquinas Institute that I talked about in the first video, there's going to be Greek in the beginning. So fluentgreeknt.com, code militant, 20% off. Learn Greek there. And then also patreon.com slash militant Thomist. And right there, you can, if you're interested in philosophy, I do post um, some uh, some videos on philosophy, on Thomas's philosophy on there, on his metaphysics that are uh, bonus videos after my normal uh, videos when it comes to Aristotle's metaphysics. So patreon.com slash militant Thomas, you want access to those. And then also, if you go right there, to christianbwagner.com slash shop. You get the based Militant Thomist mug. And then you could also get the books that I've reprinted. Those are very important. And in the future, I'm looking, I have a lot of uh, books in scholastic metaphysics and scholastic philosophy in general that aren't in print, sadly, anymore. It's so sad. It's basically like manuals of theology, but for philosophy. And they aren't in print anymore. It's just absolute craziness. So if you keep up looking there, then eventually you will find it. Then also subscribe, like um, Facebook, Twitter, um, even, um, why can't I think of it? Uh, Discord, if you want to join the Discord. If you want the extra chats on Discord, you got to be a Patreon member. But we still have a general chat, which is, which is very active. It's active every day. So join there and become based. There's your, that's an ad for you. So let's get into these commentaries on Aristotle. So if you remember from the biblical commentaries, this is going to be very similar when it comes to style. So stylistically, when when Thomas is commenting on this, he's going to provide that same um, uh, that same outline of uh, of providing. Okay, first this happens, second this happens, third this happens, and then under the first, first, second, and third that happens, and then so on and so forth. He's going to provide that same outline, but when it comes to uh, method in another sense, it's very different because Saint Thomas does not believe, contrary to popular opinion, that Aristotle is infallible. St. Thomas isn't necessarily even a super pure Aristotelian. St. Thomas isn't necessarily bound to Aristotle. Where Aristotle makes mistakes, St. Thomas does not follow. Um, so you, it's going to be a little bit different. Then also in these, he's adding a lot more of his own stuff into here. You'll see this, especially, uh, for example, uh, let's go into metaphysics. The history of metaphysical inquiry. He adds a lot of material that's not just spoken of by Aristotle here. This is a much different work than his biblical commentaries, where he sticks very close to the text. Here, he can pontificate when it comes to his his personal ph philosophical beliefs. So when it comes here, the only two that I have read, which I've, I should read more of these, but most of my energy, as I'm not a philosopher, so uh, most of my energy is put towards... Um, the dogmatic works and then the biblical commentaries and then Aristotle's works. I, I would mean the commentaries on Aristotle I would love to read a lot more of these, but um, sometimes, you know, you only have so many hours of the day. So the anima I've read and the metaphysics I've read, well, commentary on the anima and commentary on the metaphysics I've read. So you're going to have on the soul, on sense and what is sensed, physics, meteorology, on interpretation, posterior analytics, ethics, table of the ethics, politics, metaphysics, on the heavens, on generation and corruption. So St. Thomas provides a lot of good stuff here for our consideration. And then in other commentaries, he's these are a bit different because he has Dionysus on the divine names, which this is, oh, this is actually one of my favorite. This is a hidden gem right here. 
um, on the divine names. And I think, actually, I think this is in English. But um, if you want a PDF, Isidore has a PDF. But this is a top-notch work right here. Definitely a top-notch work. It is, it is just mind-blowing. And Dionysius is very hard to read um, in the first place. So St. Thomas is definitely really helpful. And then obviously his commentary on Boethius's De Trinitate. And this is a little bit more of the style of a disputation, dealing with the questions that he does. This is more like the commentary and the sentences than it is... Um, than it is, uh, what am I thinking of? Then it is like a commentary proper, but it's still really good. Definitely really good. And then Boethius's De Hem Dom Adibus, which is his commentary on some other stuff that Boethius has written. So that's about it. There's not much fancy stuff to it. It's similar in style but again he's not bound to their opinions but after this we're going to get into the obscula which this is where rubber hits the road amazing stuff that goes on here okay that is all i have for you and sorry for for this being so short there's just not much to say besides that they exist and you should read them because they are amazing works of philosophy so thank you and looking forward to seeing you guys when I come back from my little break. God bless.